Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. We're going to be playing Nocturne versus Udyr. We're going to be playing the Lethality version. They got a couple ADCs. We're going to make one of them die a lot. That's that's the game plan. We got Electrocute, Sun Impact, Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, and then the Absolute Focus and Gathering. One thing that I've really discovered from playing the Assassins recently is that the Absolute Gathering is like a super, super juice like secondary rune, giving you more free AD. You give up a little bit of the consistency of early game with Inspiration Tree, but that's fine. That's fine. As an assassin, it's going to be feast or famine anyways. So you want to win big. And if you lose, you're lost anyways. No reason to mitigate it. Okay, so my bot lane dies, but Olaf is kind of beating up the Udyr here. We might have some sort of like clear advantage over him. <laughs> what a nuisance. Hey, leave her alone. <laughs> the game plan remains the same as it always is on Nocturne. We're going to full clear our camps. Our main goal is to get a lot of farm and then keep getting more farm. If we get any kills and it speeds up the whole process, and then we get more and more juice, clearing the camps faster. Oh, it's a pretty active game. Clearing the camps faster and faster the more AD we get, so that we have more time, time to do the plays after the fact. You know, it'd be a shame to kind of let this... And he's already dead. Let's keep clearing. Two points into that Q, and then we'll be finishing our clear on the top side here. Skarner only has his E as an escape, the new Skarner. Um, and if you interrupt that with CC, then it does cancel it. So, we might have a chance up there. Generally pathing towards the top side, too. We'll be able to contest Grubs on the second turn. On the second turn, we don't have to win anything, but if we merely show up and fight with our allies, then maybe we can win the objectives, or not just give them away for free to the enemy. Because that's one thing Udyr really likes to do, is the dragon or the void grubs. But more often than not, it's going to be those void grubs early. So, by starting bot side, we'll be able to contest those. Welp, I am on the top side. Shipping. I have no clue. I guess the Udyr is on bot side. That blue is still up. Nice. So, let's do this scuttle, and then honestly into the Udyr's blue side, because I don't know where else he has to go. If I can get any of his camps, that's pretty good. Unheard of, basically. Pull this bad boy up here, you know, even if he was to come check. If the blue buff's all the way over here, then maybe he just gets confused. Alrighty, one camp, and that's good enough for me. Let's reset. And then clear back up to the top side. Play for those Void Grubs. Hi, dear. Pickaxe, and off we go. I'll even get a Control Ward. You can put that on either objective. And that will be pretty good. Udyr is level 3, 15 CS, boots cloth armor. That is so bad for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Would not want to be that guy. Meanwhile, my mid lane, two kills, baby. Against Cleanse Ghost Ashmit. Two what, Elo? Masters 200, baby. Just like your homeland, you know? Some things never change. There are laws to human nature, despite the skill level of operation. There will be errors based on emotion and personality discrepancies. Once I finish these on level 5, What's pretty beast with this too is that there's this Scryer Bloom right by the Raptors, so whenever I finish these up, I'll be able to hit that, see if Udyr's trying to slime some Void Grubs. But my soul lanes are way, way stronger than the enemy. Zero and three, baby. Putting it down. Udyr trying to slime some Grubs, I see. Looks like he got one of them. Smite. Q, E, W, auto, auto. And that is that. If I had to guess, his camps aren't up, but I mean, hell, I'm here, so we might as well check. Randomly, some wolf camp, huh? This bad boy's level four, so it is the respawn one. Whoa, well, Nelly, that's three people in there. It's kind of a smart move. Alrighty, Bob, our next step here is to get level six. Think, and with that, I just need two camps for level six. You already see where they're at, right? That's right, golems and raptors, and we're level 6. And we can make ash 0 and 4, just like that. So let's not waste any time, and let's get there. You might be thinking gank top. No! 
Ugh, gank mid, she's pushed up. No! I'm getting level six. It's consistent. All this that's happening in the meanwhile too, not even a problem. Come on, Ash. I know you want to hit that turret. You love turret plates, right? Ulti. E, Q, W. Auto. 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 Flash. Auto. <laughs> she hey, are you awake, man? I know you're probably not the most serious guy with your tier. Longsword, longsword, longsword. She didn't even throw the ulti, man. I was ready to flash over that bad boy. Because with Ash, whenever she turns her bow to the side... Then she shoots the arrow. This guy doesn't even have an arrow, apparently. Archer with no arrow. So that's pretty good. As soon as we get level 6, we spent it. So now all this time that we spend walking back onto the map, clearing our camps, our ulti will be coming off cooldown so that we can get our second one off. We're building into Axiom as the first item. Christ, everyone's dying a lot. Axiom as our first item gives us 55 AD, 18 lethality. Most importantly, that 25 ability haste. That is a lot of ability haste. But with the passive, whenever we get a killer assist, it reduces the ulti cooldown. Brutalizer gives us 10 ability haste as well. And with this blue buff, we also get 10 ability haste. So, that means more ultis, man. So the next time we cast our ulti, it comes up again sooner. And then we get more... We kill a guy, and then we get more CDR, and then we can ult sooner again. Catching my drift? Boy, I love ulting. Now, I don't think the enemy bot lane is staying, so I'll just go ahead and start this dragon. We got some time to play with 40 seconds on the ulti. Whoa, they stayed. Bob, I'm getting in there. Yeah, level 5 Udir is here. Like he can even do anything. Q. Oh, kill the minions. Okay. Nice. Back to the dragon. Take this bad boy out first. Guys, I'm doing the dragon. Listen, the dragon gives us scaling. Killing a level 5 Udir gives us like 200 gold. It's not as good. Alrighty, ulti is up. The Silas uh, got shut down by the Ash, but that's for the best. That resets her gold value. Rel, hit the dragon. Thank you. Oh, Kaisa's TP, nice. So what I'm going to do here is bring it around town and then have a flank on bot lane. There's most likely a ward in the pixel bush that Rel just swept. Anyways. Yeah, they're going to try to turn. It. Yeah. Oh. Ulti. Q, E, W, smite, auto. Auto, 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 auto. Q. Schmack. Schmack, health potion. Schmack, now wait. Wait! She has abilities. Alright, let's reset. We got Axiom Mark. Why are we not going for them? You didn't give me two seconds to bring it around town. Axiom Mark, back onto the map. Udir has the time to get the Void Grub since we spent our tempo on that. That's kind of a shame, but it is what it is. I'll just go ahead and pass to my Gromp and then be pathing up. By the time we get close to finishing our full clear here, We'll have our ulti up again, and it will all be fine. It's just a shame where my team's playing it a little bit too fast. Too fast and too furious is not good for Nocturne. As we farm these camps, we'll go closer to level 9. The real shebang is where we hit level 11. So we do want to be farming all the time up until that point. With any assassin in League this season, in the jungle, it's all about spiking in the mid game. So we never stop farming in the early game. You don't have to play for early kills. You need to play for a lot of farm and a couple of early kills. Not for only early kills and no farm. Christ, boys. Simmer down down there. Maybe maxing that W second. More points in the W lowers the cooldown but gives you more attack speed with the active and with the passive. Whenever you block an ability with the spell shield, you get bonus attack speed. Nice! Olaf, the man! Yeah, I'll show you to gank a top laner. Two tanks versus an Olaf. You know how that one goes. Oh, this might be a freebie for me. Nah, 
that's a freebie for him. Eventually. Let's go mid lane. Ulti is up, ready to rock. And that is a level 9 Ash, so she'll give me a pretty good amount of XP. Ulti, and here we go. Q, E, W, auto, auto. Schmack, schmack, schmack. And the entire, a shutdown. How does a Inting Ash with a Monomune and Erectric have a shutdown? Let's get this turret play and get out of here. It's a bad neighborhood. Ugh. W. Alrighty. Don't. Thank you. Welp, I want to get a lot of AD from here, so we'll get the tier 1 boots, lethality, longsword. Swap to the blue trinket as soon as you hit level 9, and that is that. Off we go. We can build into quite a bit of items here. Collector is good, hubris is good. I'm really thinking collector. Let me one-shot the twitch better. Okay, they're in, but they don't have much follow-up. Q. Nice. Oh, close. I have my blue trinket and ulti in 8 seconds, so that's what I'm waiting for with this Twitch. He only has so many places to go here. Okay, his stealth is expiring. There he is, mid lane. Ulti, blue trinket, ulti. Q, E, W, smite, flash, auto, E. Auto, auto, auto. <laughs> Lethality Nocturne is in business, baby. Let's hit level 11. Clear my camps into the dragon, and we are really, really cooking. That will easily give me a lot of XP. With that big-ass shutdown, too, that's a whole lot more gold for us. Damn, Twitch is going AP, though. That means he could get Zonias. That's really bad for me. What a reckless bot lane. Hey man, it pans out this time. Kai's has a shutdown. They've apparently won lane. Wow, my ulti is up. Bob, I can just go kill Twitch right here. No need to wait. Axiom Mark is really something, huh? The wonders of modern technology. If only I had that blue trinket, man. Twitch, I dare ya. There you go. Q, E, W, auto. It's my auto. Smack. Smack. And... Q. Oh, I missed. Rampage. Suppose I die. <laughs> yeah, give me the collector. If I have that one-shot potential, he's never getting away with that. He's honestly high level. How, however the hell he's level 9, that's why he lives. He just has that 50 extra HP, you know. That will be enough. It's too much for me to chew through. Go ahead, take the Rift Herald. I got a dragon to get to. Because I even had the extra longsword off the reset. Is fine. We got his flash, so that means he dies next time. As we enter the mid game here, it's about pushing the pace. So we're, we can start skipping camps, especially once we're level 11. Our ulti will be on a low enough cooldown. So it's kind of like letting the ulti rip every time it's up now. And you need to do this in the mid game because you don't get those chances in the late game. You can die quite a bit in the early and mid game, but then if you die in the late game, it's too important. So we want to make the game really messy now. Make it where the carries aren't farming. And then have a good time. Alrighty, my ulti is up. We're gonna be on vision here, but that's okay. And ulti. Q, E, W, auto. And that is what I'm talking about right there. Bah. See, that's a Twitch ulti, you know? No problem. We're just causing some problems. <laughs> We're making it real messy. W. Okay, and that's gonna be Skarner TP, so it don't even matter if he kills us or not. I'm just going to ignore him like he don't even exist. I'm going to make him feel real insecure about his position in this social group in this high school, okay? Every time he comes around, I'm not even going to talk to him. I don't care. So, farm wolves, gromp, and then reset. Get this collector. 
Hopefully this collector owns. With level 11, this is such a big spike for Nocturne. You get more damage, lower cooldown on the ulti, but then you get more range on it. That more range gives you way more access to making better plays. You can reach the carries from way further away. AKA, you can punish them a whole lot harder. Alrighty, Collector, 55 AD, 20% crit chance, 16 lethality, execute targets below 5% HP. So that'll give me that little extra oomph to take someone out. Like Mr. Twitch, who barely got away. My ulti's up, so I'll be skipping the camps and then moving in position here. Ulti. E, W, auto, auto. Q, Q, Q. Nice. Collected. Moving. Auto. And the Q will take him out. Just keep go. Q, Q. It's fine. Die to a tank. Clean him up. Step one, create chaos. Step two, team cleans up everyone. <laughs> Let's get some more long swords. Now, usually you only want two lethality items into Shereldas. I'm not exactly sure with this build. Opportunity sounds pretty good. More lethality when I immediately slam and then more movement speed whenever I kill someone so I could kind of get in and either press forward or leave. I already bought my ulti is back up. I think I should just keep ulting instead of farming the camps here because I can go level 13, but that doesn't really matter. Whereas if I keep ulting right now, you know, we're going to trade kills and then we're going to enter a late game where the enemy carries haven't farmed at all. Because I ulted them so many times. Coming in hot. Blue trinket, ulti. Q, E, W, auto, smite, flash, auto. <laughs> Noob down. <laughs> Keep maxing that W. We got a dragon at 140. <laughs> Take a little snack on my way out. Then, yeah, we'll reset. Maybe I stay on the map. 21 seconds on the ulti. Guys, Udir is in our blue side. This is easy. Nice. I can use my second ulti on him. That's so much safe. Ooh. I mean, he has the right idea. He needs to get out of here. Okay. Now, I, I have to wait for Twitch. If the two tanks are playing it like this, we have to wait. Q, E, W, auto. 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 Noob down. Ulti. He can't see me. Q, ulti. Smite. Auto. Ooh. My bad. Could have played that a little slower. I thought I would one-shot him, Bob, but... Listen, that electrocute only procs on one guy, so... Good enough. Two noobs down. You know. Plus two. Minus one. That's a winning equation. More one shot. Hubris just doesn't seem good. Because I'm just dying. I think I should just go Shereldas, Bob. I'm already one shotting. Brutalizer. Off we go. Not completing the tier 2 boots. We don't need any ability haste. We just need more damage. More AD every single time. With all these kills and assists too, they're giving us some XP. Pretty similar XP to if we were farming. And then if we fell behind, we would have the catch-up XP. So instead of farm maxing, I think we've played this mid game pretty well. Absolutely just capitalizing on our ulti being up every single time. Q, E, W, auto, auto, auto. Collected, man. God, we dealt so much damage right there. My ulti's back up. Let's just let him know. Hey, man. Let you know I'm that sort of guy. Let's do dragon. Dude, Axiom is so beast like that. You know what? That makes me want to build Profane Hydra. Just get in and deal a shit ton of damage to everyone. Yeah, Twitch isn't building Zonias. Profane Hydra it is. Off we go. 
to the top side. No farming. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I farmed one of my camps. And we're winning so hard. It's so feast. Spike mid-game. No, no, no. Mid-game is when the game ends, apparently. So Profane Hydra will give us more of that AoE damage. Um, another active, so an instance of damage. And then when we land on top of multiple people, we can deal a lot to everyone and then die. And that is good. It also gives us ability haste. So that means more ultis. Oh god. This isn't good. Right. I need to wait for Olaf to get in here or at least have an angle. Alrighty, Olaf has the angle. Blue trinket, ulti. Q, E, profane. Holy shit, he's dead already. That's a lot of damage onto him, Bob. Clean him up. Olaf, for the love of God, you failure. Oh, he's four and six, I see. Come on now, shit dog, we lost a Baron. Alrighty, Kai'Sa trolled it, we don't get Baron. It, it might be super bad, Bob, but listen, we're running a reckless game anyways. Let's just... Let's just roll the dice here. We're looking for level 16. That's our next power spike. Completed Shirelia's. Um, but we just keep doing the same deal here. Forcing those ultis as soon as it's up. Because if we stop to farm and we let the game go even, the enemy's going to outscale us, especially where they got that Baron. They, that lets them catch up in time, XP, and gold, a.k.a. everything. So we want to keep just grouping up and fighting like this. Not invading their jungle. My ulti's almost in range. Nice, that Zonia's out of Twitch. Which apparently he built. Ulti onto this guy, get delivered. Smite! E! Moving! W! Q! Okay, I'm gonna get hit here, but that's okay. Noob's down. Now we farm. We farm right until the point that the enemy has spawned again. Taking the enemy jungle too, it's kind of a two for one special. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Twitch, I love you. What if I scuba dived on him right now? He doesn't have Zonias. I die and trade one for one. Let's figure out. Yeah. Spent a little bit too much time thinking about it, huh? Well, no ulti for one minute. Udyr's doing one better. Udyr's has a level lead. He probably thinks he's hot right now. Nice, I'm catching up, bro. Just to die right before the dragon spawns. I don't have ulti, but we better get involved. If I even get an assist, then I can get some refund on my ulti cooldown with the Axiom Arc. <laughs> They're just dead! E, W, Auto, Q, Profane, Auto, Auto, <laughs> Push Bot! Just like that, I got my ulti. Remember to use that Q when you're hitting shit. That's more AD. The structures! Oh god, well I dodged the ulti. The structures! Ouchie mama. All in it. Buh. 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 W. Auto. Q. Auto. Auto. Yeah, they're not up in time. It's fine. GG. Final score, 12, 4, and 9. I think that's the evolution, Bob. That Just ulting. Once we get level 11, no more farming. Go ult. And then I can farm after I ulti. If I die during the ulti, it's okay. Because we were not going to win late game.
All righty, GG. That puts us at Masters 265 LP. Final damage dealt 27,000 as an assassin is crazy. Let's see. Electrocute dealt 1,600. Pretty similar with sudden impact. Damn. I really like the collector second too. And then I think third item, you can go Profane Hydra. You can go Opportunity. Or you can go Shereldas. I think all of those are fine. You don't want to go like Edge of Night. You don't want to go... Um, I don't even remember the other one I was thinking of. But you need AD along the way. You just need more and more damage to play into that one shot. Alrighty, GG. Lethality Nocturne. Funny as always. <laughs> See you in the next one. Peace.